guys, welcome to your daily dose of mathematics. In this video, we're going to see a trigonometry question for A-levels paper 3. And it's a bit of advanced question. And um, let's start by just looking at the question. You pause the video after looking at the question, try to solve it once, and then watch the rest of the video for the solution. So let's begin. Let me show you the question. You'll be able to see it on the screen. So this is a core trigonometry question, and I'll start solving it now. So if uh, the question says, if we know that cos of A is 3 upon 5 and A is between 0 and 90. So these are the two conditions that the question has. This tells us that A is an acute angle and cos of that angle is 3 over 5. Uh, we have to tell what is the exact value of sine A minus 30. And this is something that we learn in paper 1 trigonometry in A-levels. So you should be able to comfortably do this. If you're not comfortable, you can go to my A-levels trigonometry playlist and uh, you can search up for type 2, I guess, for trigonometric videos. So I'll tell you how to deal with this. On a coordinate axis, if A is between 0 and 90, we would imagine A to be in the first quadrant. And in the first quadrant, we mark A over here. Let's complete the right angle triangle. And we know that cos is base or adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent is 3 and hypotenuse is 5. We can use Pythagoras theorem to find this height, and this would be 4. Now. We have to find the exact value. The requirement for, for the question is to find the exact value of sine A minus 30. So from here, I want to find sine A minus 30. So this is the exact value that we're looking for. Uh, of course, this is a compound angle formula. So we're going to expanding this using compound angle. Before that, I would want to find the value for sine A over here. So for sine A, I would do perpendicular over hypotenuse or opposite over hypotenuse, and that would give us 4 upon 5. Let's expand this thing using compound angle for expansion. So this would be sine A cos 3D minus cos A. sine 30. So this would be sine A cos 30 minus cos A sine 30. Uh, let's start uh, putting in values uh, for both of these. So sine A is 4 over 5. And cos 30, we, uh, you guys are supposed to know the values for 30, 45, and 60 for all trigonometric ratios. So cos 30 would be square root 3 over 2 minus cos A was given in the question that is 3 over 5 and sine 30 would be 1 over 2. So this is the final answer. Uh, we would just simplify it a little bit. So this would be 4 square root 3 minus 3 divided by 10. So this is the final value for part A. This is sine A minus 30. So this is the exact value, and we know whenever we're required to tell the exact value, you are not allowed to use calculators. Let's have a look at the second part, uh, which is a little bit tricky. For a second part, they are uh, you are required to find exact value of sine two, uh, tan two alpha, tan two a, and later on we have to find the exact value of tan three a. I guess let me just have a look. Yep. Uh, later on, we're supposed to find the exact value of tan 3a. So let's start with tan 2a. We know the double angle identity over here. So it's 2 tan a over 1 minus tan squared a. Uh, now you can see we are required to know the value of tan. I'm going to refer back to the diagram that we had in the beginning. And if I want tan a over here, that would be perpendicular over base. Uh, perpendicular is 4 and base is 3. So this would give me a value of 4 over 3. And we will, we will use this. 
over here. So this will, value will become two times 10 is four over three over one minus four over three whole squared. Uh, so this would be eight over three divided by this uh, division sign is written as this one minus uh, 16 over nine. So this would be negative uh, so this would be 9 minus 16, negative 7 over 9. I think this is right. And you can use your calculator now uh, because uh, we are allowed to use calculators for arithmetic functions, even if it is an exact value question. So we will cancel this 3 with this 3. And we are left with minus 24 upon 7. Let me just have a quick look with the exact value. And, yeah. And we break them up there. All right, so this value is negative 24 over 7 for tan of 2a. Now, finally, the last requirement that this question has is to find the value of tan 3a. Now, in advanced trigonometry, we have learned over and over again that for uh, angles uh, in the base 3a, uh, we should always split them into tan of 2a plus a. And we're going to treat it as a compound angle identity now. This will become tan of 2a plus tan a over 1 minus tan 2a and tan a. And once you've reached this step, it's really relieving to know that we know the value of all three of these. And uh, let's start plugging in the values over here. So tan 2a was negative 24 over 7 plus tan a, we calculated somewhere over here, that was four over three divided by one minus tan two is again negative 24 over seven and tan a is four over three. Now we're going to just solve both of these fractions and the final answer that we will get from here would be negative 44 over 117. Yeah, uh, it's okay to uh, show a little bit more steps for these calculations uh, because they, uh, it's a show that question. Uh, otherwise, it's perfectly fine if you use your calculator for arithmetic functions over here. So this is a very good trigonometry question uh, because this matches up between paper one techniques and paper three compound angle identities as well. And this also tests whether a student is are capable to perform compound angle identity in uh, a plus a sine a minus b case, then it also checks for double angle identities, then it also checks for uh, students' capability to break down the angle 3a. So if you like this video, if you have uh, learned through this video, please do give uh, a like for our video and share it with your friends. And if you have any comments, any questions that you want to ask, you can leave a comment below. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.